हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टूडे इन आवर बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग प्ले लिस्ट वेल स्टडी मैग्नेटिज्म एंड इन दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो वेल लर्न मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फ्लक्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फ्लक्स डेंसिटी और मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी वेल ऑल्सो लर्न द इंटर रिलेशनशिप ऑफ फ्लक्स फ्लक्स density and magnetic field intensity so let's start our study of magnetism permanent magnets which can produce and retain strong magnetic field around them are made of either high carbon steel or they are made of iron nickel alloy or iron nickel cobalt alloy now there exist a magnetic field around these magnets as shown by these imaginary magnetic force lines this concept of magnetic force lines is given by michael faraday to visualize magnetic field phenomena and according to that these imaginary lines come out from north pole of this permanent magnet as shown here and they travel in space and return back and enter into magnet at south pole and within magnet they complete their closed loop from south to north so magnetic force lines starts from north pole of a magnet and set south pole of magnet and form a closed loop the concept of electric force lines and magnetic force lines to explain respectively electric field and magnetic field both are given by michael faraday and both are imaginary and very useful in visualization there are great similarities between magnetic force lines and electric force lines but there is a specific typical difference between magnetic force lines and electric force lines now magnetic force lines starts from north pole and sets south pole and within magnet they complete their closed loop while traveling from south to north so magnetic force lines always form closed loop whereas electric force lines never form a closed loop as if they form a closed loop it means they are starting from a positive charge and they end at negative charge and at a same point position two different polarity charge can't coexist so electric force lines are never form closed loops they are always in open positions whereas magnetic dipole north and south always remain accompanied with each other you cannot separate north pole and south pole from each other so magnetic force lines always remains in closed loop formation and electric force lines never form closed loops the pictorial drawing of force lines represent magnetic field in a certain space position and tangent drawn on force lines indicate the direction of magnetic field induction or magnetic field intensity at those specific locations for a straight force lines straight line itself is tangential to itself and the straight line indicate the direction of magnetic field whereas for curved line the tangential position will change as per curvature of force lines and tangent drawn at any position as shown by these red arrow indicate the direction of magnetic field now the density of force lines represent the strength of magnetic field at a position the dense location of force lines indicate stronger magnetic field presence whereas at point b the lower density of magnetic force lines indicate lower value of magnetic field intensity so at a position magnetic field is stronger as compared to position b in this magnetic field lines configuration when magnetic force lines are parallel to each other and are equal distance then this represent a uniform magnetic field and everywhere the direction of magnetic field as well as strength of magnetic field is the same in this uniform magnetic field represented by parallel equal distance lines as shown here there is a possibility that in a non uniform magnetic field magnetic force lines may not be parallel but even when they are not parallel they won't intercept each other they won't cut each other because at cut point when we draw tangent there is two tangential direction indicate two values of magnetic field at one location at one time and that is not possible so two magnetic force lines or two electric force lines never cut each other magnetic field in space is represented by these imaginary closed line of force which represent direction of force on unit north pole at any position and according to direction of force force lines are drawn and they represent 
magnetic field in any space location these imaginary force lines are counted and the counting of these lines is numerically called as magnetic flux and magnetic flux is also treated as current in magnetic circuit now the total amount of magnetic flux crossing any area is measured in an unit weber and it is denoted by a greek letter phi so magnetic flux is counting of magnetic force lines and magnetic force lines are definitely imaginary lines but the concept of force lines and their counting generate magnetic flux and magnetic flux is measured in weber and denoted by phi the magnitude of magnetic field is measured in terms of magnetic flux density or magnetic induction denoted by capital b and magnetic induction or magnetic flux density is related to magnetic flux or counting of force lines if in a uniform magnetic field a certain surface area a is placed perpendicular to force lines and we could measure total amount of flux passing through it then flux density in this space position is defined as ratio of total flux passing through normal area divided by total normal surface area and flux density is ratio of flux to area and flux per unit area is magnetic flux density and its measure is weber per meter square we also call weber per meter square as tesla tesla is a psi unit of magnetic induction and both weber per meter square and tesla are mks unit and one tesla is equivalent to one weber per meter square now when magnetic field is uniformly distributed we can calculate flux per unit area straight by this relation but when magnetic field is non uniform then in that case elemental flux contribution of a small area is dot product of magnetic induction and area vector and total flux from that entire surface is obtained by surface integration of magnetic field flux density and we have to use mathematical integration techniques to find out total amount of flux passing through that area and to find out magnetic field flux density or magnetic induction at any specific location we can use differential format of flux and differential of flux with area or elemental flux passing through a small area and ratio of flux to area is magnetic flux density or magnetic induction so in case of uniform magnetic field the division of flux passing through area and amount of area surface gives straight away magnetic induction and in non uniform magnetic field we have to use differential techniques and to find out total amount of flux passing through any area we have to use integration technique magnetic field in space can be represented by either magnetic induction b in tesla unit or magnetic field intensity h by ampere per meter unit and both are proportional vector of the same direction so both magnetic induction and magnetic field intensity has both magnitude and direction now the direction of magnetic induction or magnetic field intensity is obtained by drawing tangent to force lines and when force lines is straight then straight line itself is tangent to itself so this line represent the direction of magnetic induction or magnetic field intensity and when force lines is curved line then tangent direction indicate change of direction of magnetic field as represented by a red arrow here at these two positions we can calculate magnetic field flux density or magnetic induction in an uniform magnetic field when a i current carrying conductor is placed in magnetic field its length experience force in that magnetic field as magnetic interaction of current carrying conductor and existing magnetic field generate force here and the amount of force is given as bil sin theta where b is magnetic field flux density or magnetic induction surrounding current carrying conductor i is current in conductor l is that length of conductor which experience force f and theta is angle between magnetic induction b and conductor current i now if we take conductor of 1 unit length 1 meter length and pass 1 ampere current through it with angle theta equal to 90 degree sin 90 will become 1 and in that case force on conductor as in this case vertically inward to paper plane will become equal to magnitude of magnetic induction so we can say in an uniform magnetic field conductor of 1 unit 1 meter length carrying 1 ampere current with angle 
between current and magnetic induction 90 degree the amount of magnetic force experienced by such conductor in newton is magnetic induction or flux density in tesla in the design of magnetic circuit the path in which magnetic flux passes the calculated magnitude of magnetic induction or flux density is very important as to maintain flux induction or flux density to a certain level we have to design appropriate cross section area of core through which flux is passing for the given amount of working flux in rotating dc machines when flux from stationary field poles enters into rotating armature across air gap the flux over one slot pitch which contain one slot and one teeth the entire flux will concentrate only on teeth section as air gap of slot got higher reluctance and uneasiness for flux flow so same flux when concentrate on smaller cross section area the amount of flux density will almost double and rotating armature teeth won't have identical cross section so at inner neck position it got smallest cross section area and highest flux concentration or flux density and this magnetic flux density amount in core decide the required magnetizing current for flux production and amount of losses taking place in magnetic structure or calculation of efficiency and temperature rise of any electric device during operation the magnitude of magnetic flux density or magnetic induction may be different in different magnetic media placed in same magnetic field intensity h as here if we place copper manganese and iron in same magnetic field of intensity h the magnetic induction in copper which is a diamagnetic material is less than that in air but the difference is very small similarly in manganese the internal magnetic field flux density in material is slightly higher than magnetic field induction in air and in these para magnetic material and in diamagnetic material magnetic field induction in air and material got a slight variation but that is of minor concern but in ferromagnetic material we'll find that in comparison to magnetic induction of air the magnetic induction in iron material become very very high compared to air flux density now this variation of flux density in medium compared to air or another medium is due to medium permeability and depending upon medium permeability in the same magnetic field intensity h different medium got different value of magnetic induction so in magnetic circuit analysis when we need a physical quantity which is independent of medium used to represent magnetic field we use magnetic field intensity or magnetic field strength for calculation and fortunately magnetic induction and magnetic field intensity both are proportional to each other and are vector of the same direction so magnetic circuit can be analyzed by both magnetic induction concept or magnetic field intensity concept but magnetic induction value depends on permeability of magnetic medium and magnetic field intensity or strength of magnetic field h won't depend upon medium it is medium independent quantity and it depend only on source current and relative geometry of observation position and current distribution and value of magnetic field intensity or field strength is independent of medium permeability so we have seen that magnetic flux density is a medium dependent measurement and its magnitude depends upon medium permeability it is high for ferromagnetic material having higher permeability and it is comparable to air flux density in diamagnetic and paramagnetic materials so we need a magnetic parameter which is independent of medium and denote magnitude of magnetic field and that is magnetic field intensity or strength of magnetic field denoted by english letter capital h and this magnetic field intensity is proportional to magnetic flux density but independent of medium permeability we define magnetic field intensity or strength of magnetic field as force on one unit north pole placed in magnetic field at any position and if force is measured in newton and pole strength in weber then the unit of magnetic field intensity will become newton per weber and popularly magnetic field intensity is measured in ampere per meter 
एंड इट्स वैल्यू डिपेंड्स अपॉन सोर्स करंट एंड जोमेट्रिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन पोजिशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू करंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड एच इज मीडियम इंडिपेंडेंट मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी इट्स वैल्यू डजेंट डिपेंड अपॉन मीडियम परमेबिलिटी देर एग्जिस्ट अ प्रपोर्शनल रिलेशन बिटवीन मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फ्लक्स डेंसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एंड प्रपोर्शनल कॉन्स्टेंट इज मीडियम परमेबिलिटी एंड दिस रिलेशन बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू एच कैन बी यूज टू फाइंड आउट एनी वन ऑफ बी और एच इफ अदर वन इज नोन टू एस नाउ इन प्लेस ऑफ मीडियम परमेबिलिटी वी कैन राइट permeability of air and relative permeability of that medium with respect to air and mu equal to mu not mu r can give us value of permeability if we know relative permeability as here permeability of air or vacuum is known to us it is a universal constant in rationalized mks unit and is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and both absolute permeability of medium and permeability of air or vacuum got a unit henry per meter whereas mu r is just a number which represent the ratio of absolute permeability of medium to permeability of air and for ferromagnetic material this dimensionless number relative permeability ranges from few hundred to few thousands and for di and para magnetic material mu r is nearly 1 when we increase strength of magnetic field or intensity of magnetic field in space in air media magnetic induction also increase proportionally and magnetic induction b and magnetic field intensity got a straight line relationship starting from origin but in ferromagnetic material the permeability of iron material or relative permeability of iron material is not constant in initial linear range when we increase magnetic field intensity magnetic induction also increases in a almost proportional manner and we can say permeability or relative permeability of iron material is constant and high but as saturation starts taking place in ferromagnetic material the value of magnetic permeability decreases and increase of magnetic induction with increase of magnetic field intensity won't remain linear as shown here in this magnetizing bh relationship of iron and in our next video we will study this magnetizing characteristic of iron material in great detail we hope this small informatic learning video has explained three important magnetic study parameter magnetic field flux magnetic induction and magnetic field intensity in good detail and now you could also understand what is interrelationship between flux flux density and magnetic field intensity and you also got an brief idea of magnetic permeability our other learning video of this channel in different playlist are very useful in your electrical engineering preparation and professional practice and if you find these learning video useful do share it with your friends as knowledge spread by you also enhances your knowledge happy learning have nice time thank you very much